guys welcome back today is the day i'm finally recording my 2023 goals video and i can't be more excited let me first tell you why i do even set goals usually every year i used to set only one to three goals no more than that but last year i went above and beyond and set so many different goals in different aspects of my life like career travel and adventure relationship health and fitness side as a legacy so many different things and i felt like oh i can achieve so many things in a year and it just made me a happier version of myself and it also feels like you're winning the game of life and you want more of it the third thing that i love about goal setting is that it gives you a clarity and direction in your life think about this for people who do not set goals their future is just an extension of their past but if you're someone who set goals then you get an opportunity to design your life and create your own world. And that, I think, is the beauty of goal setting. With that, I'm going to share my 2023 goals. Hope that gives you an idea on how you can set your goals as well. I track my goals through Notion and let's take a look together. Notion has released their 2023 yearly goal tracker. And what's pretty amazing about that is they have a section where you can track your yearly goals and they have a section where you can track your quarterly goals and even within the quarterly goals they have a section where you can track your monthly goals and within that you can see what did you do well during a month and what went wrong what were your where did you fall short and it's so cool to see that you can see your reflections along with your achievements i have used the same template for my yearly goal tracking, I will leave a link in the description box below if you'd like to get it downloaded. Uh, moving on to my goals for 2023, my biggest goal is to run a 15K and a half marathon. Last year, I did up to a 12K and this year I would like to stretch it a little bit and um, do some small milestones towards my marathon dream. Next goal is to get in shape, by that I mean lose abs by four inches. Uh, and if you open this goal, I have written down my whys and how. Writing down your why would let you be more intentional on why you're doing this goal, why you're trying to achieve this goal. And writing down your how will allow you to measure it. How exactly are you going to achieve, measure this goal? What will tell you if you have achieved this goal or not? So for me, my why is to get fitter, stronger and healthier and my how is to do a bar and yoga regularly. Next goal is to upload 156 videos on YouTube, which is 52 regular videos and one or four shots. And my next goal is to save uh, together as a couple about X dollars in cash towards our home down payment we are thinking about buying a new home sometime in the future so would like to save for it next goal is to get a green card application get my green card application submitted i have only two years left on my uh, h1b visa so i need to get this on track so i'd like to focus on this this year next goal is to give a public speaking i've been evolving on my public speaking journey and this year I would like to give nine speeches at Toastmasters. Uh, next goal, if you have been watching my um, speech videos, I would have given a speech on inventing and I had this idea of inventing a moisture alarm. I would like to work on it as a fun DIY project maybe. So that's one of my other goal. And next goal is my parents are planning to come to the US during the summer. So I would like to get spend more time with them, maybe go on a family vacation and uh, have a quality time. Next goal is to go on a cross country road trip. Uh, because we don't have kids right now, it's so easy to go on a road trip. So we like to explore together with my spouse and my brother and friends. So I think um, that's on my list as well. 
I'm so glad we were able to do it this year. Uh, this year in January, uh, I had two weeks of vacation, so we made good use of it uh, and had so much fun. And next biggest goal is to learn to ice skate. Um, I always wondered how do people even do that? Like every time I try to ice skate, I fall down and get myself hurt so badly. And uh, since uh, the start of the new year, um, I enrolled in an ice skating class and I've been learning uh, how to ice skate. The, the biggest confidence for me was to learn how to safely fall down so I don't get hurt badly. And that has given me so much confidence. And along with it, like right now, this learning process in itself is so much fun. Uh, learning to ice skate and going around the rink and increasing my speed and playing around with it. It's its so fun. Like I would like to uh, learn more and evolve on this journey. And the next goal I set for myself is to do 20 hikes, 14 easy to moderate hike and six hard hikes. Um, last year maybe I would have done maybe one hard hike, I don't even know. But I've done quite quite a few easy to uh, moderate hikes. But this year I would like to do more, um, maybe six hard hikes, just to stretch myself and uh, um, and also get some work done. Uh, the next goal I have for myself is to read six nonfiction books, and I've listed all the books that I would like to read. Uh, maybe pick pick and choose from this list or maybe add to it as well um, if if I would like to read some other book. Uh, the next goal I have for myself is to digital declutter. I feel like I'm good with managing my home like every now and then I at least organize it, make it clean and like uh, make it work for me but my digital space I have to admit it it's, it's a mess, total mess. Um, it doesn't work for me, it works against me. My photos are not organized, videos are not organized, and I uh, can do YouTube as my side as well. So it's really important for me to get things organized. So I would like to do that and also declutter my email, declutter my personal laptop, and declutter my uh, uh, photos. So that's another goal for this year. Uh, the next goal I have for myself is to reduce food waste. If you don't know, the United Nations report on global hunger number tells us that about 20 to 25 percent of the global population had food insecurity in 2021. And that makes me think how blessed we should be to have food on our table. With that, I would love to uh, be even more conscious on managing my uh, kitchen inventory, um, take a regular inventory check uh, on the food items that may be going bad and plan on an easy meal so I don't waste any food. The next goal I have for myself is to contribute uh, 3,000 to 5,000 in gifts and donations. Um, and the next goal is to volunteer as a search nam, set to smart, something uh, I'm going to give back to the community. Uh, next goal is to update my data science skills. I moved on, took up a new role and I have um, uh, a lot of things that I want to brush up on and some new skills that I would like to learn in 2023 as well. So here's a list I created on the books and courses that I might be willing to take and maybe I can pick and play around with it this year. Like to deepen my knowledge here. So that's on my goal list as well. So those are all my goals for 2023. I will be the most happiest if I get to achieve uh, these goals uh, for quarter. I also have a section where I have my quarterly goals. If you look into the quarter one, um, I have listed out uh, all my monthly goals for my ja for January month. Like I have wrote down all my goals and striked it out. And also I've written down what did I accomplish this month versus what did I fall short uh, this month so I can reflect on January and uh, maybe um, get in track with my February goals and 
um, yeah, if you would like to download this uh, Notion template, I have a link in the description box below. I would love to hear from you what are your top three biggest goals for the year. Leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. See you in another video. Hope this video was useful and informative for you. Bye.